Together, let's find out. Let's find out about the timetables of technology. The timetables of technology. What is this? I don't actually know. I did recognize one part of it though from when I was a little boy, uh, from when I was testing this earlier. So I must have done this thing at least once back in the day, but I don't remember bothering. I thought it was garbage even then. What we got then? It's a bunch of images. There's a there's a 1700s man there. He's got one of those stupid white wigs that they wore. I see. I can't really make out what's even on any of those pictures. And a rainbow, a bunch of computer circuit stuff in the middle. Or is that just graphics glitching? I can't actually tell if that's just my computer glitching the graphics. If you bypass any of the introductions, click the mouse at any time. The main menu displays the four major areas of this CD-ROM, the timetables, the gallery, the index, and the internet connection. To enter one of the areas, click on the appropriate area of this screen. In the timetable section, you'll find over 1200 entries, arranged in an easily navigable, three-dimensional space. The entries describe inventions, discoveries, and technological advances. And together Could this guy sound any more bored? From the Stone Age to the present day information age. To find out all about the technologies, we click on these buttons. If you want to find more information, please click on these things. There's more things over there. The cavemen use technology, so do we. Where's my paycheck? He's still talking, he's still going! Four separate indices, organized into subject, people, media, and glossary. The specific topics, names, descriptions... I'll take this opportunity to change the camera to be better. He's still going. He's still going, he's prattling on about the internet now. All these 1990s CDs were so, so excited about the internet. Shut up! ...which has been constructed specifically to accompany this CD-ROM. Thank you for entering the timetables of technology. Yeah. May your journey be an informative and enjoyable one. If he didn't stop talking, I was gonna tell I was gonna say that if he didn't shut up, I was just gonna click something anyway. But that man's miserable voice didn't have Joan on for a long time. It's like the replacement voice actor they got for Taj the Genie, Elephant, and Diddy Kong Racing for the DS version. They just sucked all the life out of him. Now the timetables of technology. It's some kind of uh, encyclopedia tool about technology, computers and the like. The difference is, the catch is this was made in 1996, I think. So it's uh, it's about its dated technology. Like even the most advanced technology that's going to be in this will be really old. But the reason I said I, I must have used this back then is that I remember that gallery there. But let's go where where our human instincts tell us to go. The top left. Thing, timetables. Time oh, no, that man's back again. I figured we had the last of him, but no, he's the. He's the narrator. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. This thing's a piece of trash, by the way. I can just see, just looking at it already. This looks like a terrible way to organize your encyclopedia. A bunch of blue rows with just a bunch of screens scattered around them that you got to click on to find out what they mean. Okay, so when it said the time tables, the time timetables of technology is a kind of a misleading thing, especially since the CD cover has this image of a like computery looking inf digital stuff, all those diodes and blinking things and the like. Really gives you the impression it's going to be about a history of computers, but it's not. It's about a history of everything that humankind has invented. Shut up! He won't stop talking. Blow my blizzards! I mean, cut my gizzards down! Flash my simons already! Stop talking! I'm going to seriously have to just just skip this Berk's explanations because I can't believe this. He's still going on. These these old edu these old 
uh, education tools back then were abominable for this sort of thing. These massive droning explanations. He's trying to tell us absolutely everything about everything before we get to do anything. Overwhelming us with every single last bit of information before we get to touch anything at all. Oh, it had to catch up itself there. Right, finally it's done. Now, oh no, oh, what is this? What on earth? <laughs> what? Look at this. Brilliant. Okay, it's a 3D space. Well, I mean, I can use the arrow keys as well, if I'm willing to wait for it to be much slower to do so. If I press an arrow button, then it moves a little bit to the side, and then pauses for half a second before it continues to move in that direction. Alright. So, what I'm doing is, is, uh, that bunch of blue stuff down there is, no, is what I, is the type, the timetables of technology. And, ugh, oh, what on earth? Ugh. That's, these are the timetables of technology, and uh, what I'm doing is, what I'm trying to do is navigate the things. When I move my mouse to the, one of the sides of the screen, it shows an arrow showing that I can go that way, so if I move it to the left and hold down the left mouse, then it goes left and right. And then if I hold up, like this, it goes up and down. Ex except that sometimes it... Okay, now where on earth am I? Where am I? I've, went, I've gone down too far. I can't get back. What? Reset view. Good grief. The ch this is insane. I can't believe how bad this is. Now, if I press up and down, sometimes it'll go... It'll go up, it'll like go up into the air or down into the get the ground or the black abyss, which the, the game's more than happy to just let me go down into complete nothingness and just leave all reality behind. There's nothing of value down here. I'm, can you just go all for all? Can you just keep going up for all infinity? Yeah, look, down, down, down. I'm holding the button. Let go. Let's push up now and see what happens. And yeah, it takes a fa three seconds to get back up here. This stupid game will just let you go outside of- there's no boundaries, there's no- <laughs> It'll just let you go way, way off into the abyss. With nothing to stop you, anyway. You hold the way up, you go- you click up like that, and sometimes it goes up into the sky, and sometimes it goes down. But then sometimes, like, it seems like if you lower the mouse far down enough, you'll, you'll move forwards and backwards instead. And looking at it- but, uh, but, what, no, I- ah. Alright, so- I can see that if, if I move the mouse a bit further down from being at the top of the screen, then the mouse cursor icon, which I don't know if you can even see it here, but the icon does change a little bit, quite slightly. The bottom of it gets fatter and the tip of the arrow gets a tiny bit uh, what, uh, sh less wide. So I can go forward, but getting backwards seems to be a real... Yeah, I can't seem to go backwards. I can go down, but if I go any higher than that, it goes forward. So I guess I have to... I don't even know what I have to... I, I genuinely don't know how to deal with this. I seem to be able to go forwards, but never backwards. Oh, whatever. Let's, let's just try to see what we can do, what we can do with this. What is this thing? Can we see what it says on the other side? Whoa! What is this? Uh, architecture... There must be like a way to rotate the camera. Help. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted. The entire help of every single thing that it could give me help with in the whole thing. To access the timetables. To access the timetables with the main menu, click on the timetables hotspot. To access the timetables, click on that time no. Uh, viewing and navigating. To move forward. Right, move forward. Cursor center screen, mouse down. Mouse down. I don't. Have, I want to move backward. Oh, of course, you got to hold down the shift key and then press the mouse button. Of course. Cursor right screen, mouse down. Shift. Okay, so basically, there's a bunch of stuff you got to hold down the shift button to do. I, I mean, that that bored Englishman must have been saying that, but I wasn't listening to him. Can you blame me? I'm holding shift. I'm holding shift, all right, and uh, and and I don't. I still don't understand. 
Okay, right, they can rotate with hold and shift. So let's do that. Let's let's see if we can navigate the uh, the timetables of technology. This figure is even worse than I could have imagined. What's this? What's that? How do I do any how do I how do I interact with this stupid thing? <laughs> how do I do this? Uh I th <laughs> Oh great, I click timetables and I get the the stock f error button. Uh, the, uh, the stock Windows XP error noise. I, I don't believe this. I can't believe how bad this is. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I can't, this is just absolutely unbelievable. Whoa, <laughs> it's like big rigs over the road racing. Oh no, we've, we've broken it. It's got to go at the speed of light if we go in reverse. <laughs> Going off into outer space. Goodbye, timetables of technology. Farewell. <laughs> what the death? <laughs> We're circling around it. <laughs> 40,000 BC. What was happening in 40,000 BC? Uh, a bunch of newspaper articles, apparently. There's got to be something more in the help. Let's see. Where are the timetables? Viewing and navigating. Use the cursor to move, navigate. Tracking left and panning that and moving these and those. How do we actually select an article in the timetables of technology? To travel through the ti to enter the timetables, travel directly through one plane to approach subsequent planes. Date references are arranged along the top of each plane. I guess the blue uh, the blue rectangles are the planes. Subject categories are displayed along the ball. Yeah, we saw that. The position meter constantly updates your location coordinates. I can't believe they made this thing. I can't believe this. It's an encyclopedia for technology, but it is single-handedly the worst encyclopedia for something that I've ever seen. This is the worst digital encyclopedia ever made. At any time... I mean, it was impressive back then, I'm sure, just for the 3D fa factor alone. Just being able to navigate in a 3D dimension like this was astonishing, but it's just unforgivable. Certainly by a modern standpoint. Is this going to tell us how to read the articles, or is there even anything to read? This is ridiculously overcomplicated. Click the flashing go button to directly launch you to this. Check your coordinates at the bottom of the screen with your age, year, and category and determine how to position yourself for uh, whatever and if it was it called it about phasing through the timetable. Some approach planes and travel to planes. I think I'm... I don't know if I can even... I don't know if I can find out how to make this stupid thing work. The timetables of technology. Well, here, that's as close as the game lets us get. Oh, yeah, we had... Oh, and of course, a reward for managing to successfully complete that ordeal is this man's droning voice again. Stone lamps. Simple forms of stone lamps fueled with animal fat and using lichens, moss or juniper for a wick are in use. Is that it? Is that all you've got to say about stone lamps? Simple forms of stone lamps fueled with animal fat and using lichens, moss or juniper for a wick are in use. Yeah, the bored Englishman had a... He had an entire encyclopedia to say as the introduction to this game, but then when it comes to the actual articles themselves, he's got one sentence. Okay, now how do we get out of this? How do we... What What? On, what on earth? What have we done now? Bronze. The oldest known use of bronze is a rod found in some pyramid somewhere. Uh, probably deposited about then, we're guessing. Oldest thing is a rod that we're guessing was from the old time. Alright, great. So let's move on to the next thing. Let's skip forward a bit to 3006. No, go back. How do I get back again? Okay, we can use the we can use the arrow, the mouse button to get back. Now let's try and get into this. Let's see if we can make it into that. Okay, come on. Nope. No, 
No, it went back. It went to no. Okay. All right. The tiniest click there. Can we get inside? No. Can we do it? It let me get in it the last time. What am I doing wrong? The timetables of technology. What am I doing wrong now? Why did it work the first time? Look, what did he? Go, go, go! Okay, we managed to, to phase through in that section. Okay, it's lined me straight up with it. Bang! Nope, straight through it. I don't believe this. The timetables of rubbish. The timetables of complete and utter garbage. What am I supposed to do? What? What is with this? There's credits. They're responsible for this. Right, they're all of the men in suits. And there they are actually all men. Possibly Jackie's not, but let's assume they're all men. That's all the men in suits. So they had nothing to do with any of this. All they, d all they did was talk about leverage and core competencies. I'm looking for one person in particular to blame for this complete atrocity. I'm not a judgmental person, but this is certainly bad. Audio design, 3D modeling. Okay, well, there's a whole load of people involved in the 3D art and 3D stuff. I was hoping it would just have one programmer. Like like most old games, I thought there'd just be a single programmer. But no, I, I'm not able. To, wow! Look at all that. Oh, that's all the people. That's all the people they got the information from. The information that I can't get to if I wanted to. Simple forms of stone. Backtrack to this. How did we manage to get that? That's the one thing we've been able to do. Never been able to get anything else to work again. Like, well, okay, I did that now. Greek Potters. This thing is worthless. I mean, not only is it impossible to navigate, but this information is the most bland. This this information is boring as anything. It's just about a bunch of inventions. Oh, they used hammers back in ten thousand years ago. They used used sickles in this time period. They used wax to make candles. I guess, I, it's, I mean, maybe it's just me. I just, I've never liked learning. I think a speech bubble thing was appearing over some of these, but I guess only some of them. Or maybe I was just seeing things. The timetables of technology. The timetables of technology. None of which are viewable. I want to see what the timetables... <laughs> yeah, what? It, I think I just randomly... One of those boxes happened to be clickable. Axes. Axes of Mesopotamia. They're made with stone. And you don't blub and say. Axes. I guess if you just click randomly everywhere, you might happen to find an article. Oh, what, what's that? Oh, good. I'm glad it let me do that. 1972. Pink is the colour of electronics. The first experimental computerised axial tomography. CAT scan. I didn't know that's what it stood for. Later known as CT scan. Imager for medical purposes is introduced. Why'd they change it to CT scan? Did they take out the axial bit? That wasn't necessary. Computerised tomography. What about the... Where's the computerised geriography? is introduced in Wimbledon, England. It detects a brain tumour in a living patient on October the 4th. It detects a brain tumour in a living patient on October the 4th. I think that's just the way they've phrased this. It's saying, uh, yeah, this this whole thing's spoken in the present tense. This encyclopedia is said in the present tense. In 1972, this thing is introduced. It detects a brain tumour on October the 4th. 
That's what it's doing right now in 1971. I, I mean, I'm no, I'm no expert on encyclopedias. Maybe that's the normal way that they phrase these things in history books. I don't know. In in 50,000 BC, cavemen create this. They look at it and like it. Well, I've got to say that this thing, this couldn't be any worse to me. I can't imagine this program being any less desirable for me. Not only is it impossible to get to the information to, not only is it nearly impossible to find anything, <laughs> any information, but even when you find it, it's, I don't care about it. Mammoth bone dwellings in cold climates, houses are built out of mammoth bones. I don't care. I mean, I guess that I shouldn't have bought this thing if I didn't care, but I didn't buy this, it came with the computer. Some houses covering as much as a lot of ground. Wow, made out of mammoth bones. How do they know this stuff? How do they know that that happened in 25,000 BC? We got records of this? Mammoth bone? I mean, maybe they were just using the... I guess they found a bunch of bones somewhere and thought, oh, humans must have built houses out of this. This is a house. So maybe it was just... Maybe it was a swimming pool. <laughs> I don't know what they're for about. Maybe it was a tennis court. Ugh, compass in China. Compasses. Magnetics. Stones were more magical than practical. Wait. The first form of a compass is probably in use for finding south. Earlier applications of magnetic load stones were more magical than practical. I don't quite understand this. The statement. In China, the first form of a compass is probably in use for finding south. Alright. So, what it's trying to say is that back in 1190, uh, they reckon that the first Chinese compass was made to get to south. Earlier applications of magnetic lodestones were more magical than practical. I was thrown by that massive line between the word load and stones, but I think it's saying lodestones. Magnetic lodestones were more magical than practical. Right, fine. So the creators of the timetable's technology don't seem to have much appreciation for magic. Tommy Cooper would not be pleased. Here we go. Chemotherapy. Oh, we've got a new voice now. Alright, I've got to be honest. I, this is just lame. Stuff all of this. Plastic was invented in 1909. Well, that was at least something worth knowing. I've always wondered when they invented plastic. Bacalite, the first plastic. The gear shift knob for a Rolls Royce automobile. That was the first time they ever used plastic for business purposes. To make a gear stick on some dead car in 1909. In the timetable section, you'll find over 1200 entries arranged in an easily navigable three dimensional space. An easily navigable three dimensional space. Easily navigable, easily navigable, easily navigable. Let's 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 support the timetables of technology and find something else. The gallery. This is it. What's in the gallery? You can navigate from this main rotunda into any of seven unique rooms, each devoted to the important technological innovations of a specific historical age: the Stone Age, the Metal Age, the Age of Water and Wind, the Industrial Age, the Electric Age, the Electronic Age, and the Information Age. Click on the projector. Can we move while he's talking? No, he shuts up the second I do something with the mouse. So you expect it to just sit there and take all of that. Well, I'm not doing that. Okay, is that a house built out of mammoth bones? I mean, yeah, I think it is actually. What's this? Is, oh wait, can we not get something on this? I mean, I'm sure it's just going to show the same piece of text as it did in the timetables of technology. How it works. Let's see how it works. Mammoth bone houses. Fancy? It's awfully suspicious that the first thing I bumped into in this is one of the uh, one of the ten articles I was able to get to load out of the tens of thousands. It looked like there were. I mean, did the rest? Of, were, the, were, the, were the ones that didn't do anything just not there at all? Was there nothing there? Is this what it gives? Or is this a demo disc? Was it only showing me part of the articles? This is really weird. I'm not playing the audio to hear that twerp's voice again. Well, I am. Meserick, Ukraine. Archaeologists. Yeah, I think I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna read this out, mate. You didn't earn your paycheck. Um, 
In Mez... Oh, oh. I would read it if I could read it. I would read it if I could read it. In Mezgeritz, Ukraine, archaeologists uncovered four houses constructed entirely from the bones of woolly mammoths. Each house consisted of some 17 tons of bones from the remains of nearly a hundred mammoths. They had been gathered from that area's steppes. Most of the mammoths had been dead for a long time before their bones were harvested for building. It was believed that the houses were built during the last ice age, 15,000 years ago. That would be the same ice age that killed the dinosaurs. The houses were shaped like hemispheres with low entrances protected by flaps made from the hides of animals that kept heat out in the in and that kept heat in and predators out. Scientists believe that once the bones had been harvested, ten people needed about five days to build each house. Even in such a primitive culture, each home was unique. The houses are the earliest evidence of architectural variety. Bones were piled in such a manner that they supported each other in a rough air arcs, creating the living space inside the hemisphere. Bones were also stacked so that some could be removed without collapsing the rest of the pile. Why? On the frozen steps where few trees grew, even rock-hard bones would be used as fuel. Yeah, fascinating. Let's hear how that guy would have said it. In Mezerich, Ukraine, archaeologists uncovered four houses constructed entirely from the bones of woolly mammoths. Each house consisted of some 17 tons of bones. Yeah, I did it better. I want to get out of here. How do I... <laughs> what have I done now? Wait, this is different, right? We're at a different section now. What's going on? What? I'm just clicking stuff. Okay, you click that text at the bottom and it changes to the next screen. I'm really getting a master class in old PC game design here. It's unbelievable how, how, in, un, how unintuitive this stuff is. Nothing telling you to click that text to make something happen. Easily navigable. And I'm also noticed this tiny little box at the top left there. I think that's what you've got to click to get out of this. That tiny little indent in the top left that you might not notice exists. Oh, what's my more mammoth bones? The earliest humans lived in warm climates and they, they, they travelled around. Not many permanent homes, but they used bones of mammoths to make homes. Cold, messed up trees, so they couldn't use trees to build homes. Some people used caves, but some people used mammoth bones. I mean, this is the first time I'd ever heard of mammoth bones being used to build houses, so that's something. But... What's the video? Aside from bad, obviously. Aside from bad. Occasionally, when weather threatened, they would build shelter from sticks. But the arrival of the last ice age 30,000 years ago brought drastic change. Homo sapiens was now... The last ice age! ...as well as the warmer Africa. The freezing climate quickly killed most trees, eliminating twigs as a building material. Some people found shelter in caves, while others had to move about in a constant search for food and shelter. But the mammoth bone houses of Meserich are evidence of at least one semi-permanent settlement during that time. With fixed settlements came communities and the social structures that followed. Communities would not resurface for thousands of years when perennial agriculture first became a way of life in some areas. The diversity in styles of the houses indicate the very first combination of utility and design in building. Okay, good. On the next thing. Uh, so I was right then, that tiny indent is the way out of that. Easily navigable. So let's leave that. So the, this gallery seems to be where the real information is. And, uh, fire. How does fire work? Uh, for fire to exist, it's got to be, to come out of gas, got to turn into a gas, then heat the gas and it burns. And yeah, flame is merely a gas burning, rapidly combining of oxygen. That's the science behind fire. I wonder if they taught that to Fireman Sam and Ponty Pandy. The fire brigade of Ponty Pandy. Well, they don't, they don't need to know what 
how fire, like what fire is to put it out. People, what did that say? People realised that fire could be preserved by passing it along to unlit objects. Yeah, so they realised you could take fire to something else and then fire would be there as well. Things catch fire. In mastering fire, early humans took an essential step towards controlling their environment and their diet. You know, they talk a lot about how the first big invention was fire. Humans discovered fire. Like, how did they- nobody knows when humans discovered fire. Nobody knows when that happened. Or what they did with it, or what? I don't know, I thought I had more of a point there than I do. But I, I thought I had more of a point there, but actually I, I don't. I thought I was making some profound statement about something, but I'm not actually, I just, I, like, I, we don't really know when they invented fire, but they obviously did at some point. And here we are now, that's, that's it. Alright. Fire. Since no other animal knows how to control fire, it's one of the traits that sets humans apart from any other animal. No other animal knows how to control fire. Um... I, I guess, maybe. I guess so. This is the 90s, so I can't be sure. I know they've had a lot of breakthroughs in the last 10 years or so about animals using inventions and stuff. Like, using tools to... Using resources and tool, making tools and things, which they've never seen before. So who knows? Maybe animals are doing stuff with fire. But anyway, this is all going on about humans and the precious technology. This is caveman days. What's this thing? A bunch of stock old tools. I can't be bothered. Let's go. Let's leave the caveman section and go somewhere else. The timetables of technology. What a worthless thing this is. What a worthless thing this was. Once again, I see why I never touched this thing as a child. Bunch of balls on top of pillars. What's this? A boat. Can you move a bit faster, please? I'm, I'm clicking and it's not going any faster. I'll click the back thing instead, no! Oh, for goodness sake, look at this. Look at this. I can click till my eyes fall out. It's not making it any faster. This is stupid. How boats work. Archimedes discovered boats. He realised that you could... What more water would be there. Well, he realised the water went up if you were inside the bath. And he shouted Eureka and jumped out into the city wearing no clothes. He probably got put to death or something but for that. That's what they did back then. That was probably the sad tale of Archimedes. I have no idea. Did Archimedes even do that Eureka thing? Or was that just... Oh, here we go. According to legend, this flash of genius, which explained buoyancy and why boats could float, uh, came to him while bathing. He noticed the water in his tub rising as he sat down. Excited at his insight, he sprang from the tub and ran naked down the street, shouting Eureka, or I have found it. Yeah, so that, all that stuff, according to legend, it says. So we, guess we, we don't really know if that happened. Who knows? Let's get away from that boat, Archimedes, before before Archimedes comes out of it, running at us, screaming Eureka with no clothes on. I mean, I don't know where a legend like that would have come from if it hadn't happened. It's not the sort of thing you would invent, is it? Out of nothing. Who knows? Whoa, what's this? Whoa! Uh, okay, it's a machine that's moving water up there. Is it going to stop? We have to click it to stop it. I used to like those... I used to like stuff like that in museums. Like all children, I think. When I was in one of those boring, stuffy museums, the, the only thing I cared about is if there was a button somewhere that I could press and make something happen. See a display like that. That was... That was good. Everything else was garbage. Everything else is garbage. I'm an adult now, I'm 30 years old, and I still care about those textual displays here as much as I did as a child. Like, when I was a child in a museum and I saw all the adults looking at the... looking at the... the panels with loads of paragraphs on them, and, you know, they're scratching their beards and... pondering and taking it in. Hmm. And I thought, man, adults are lame. I'm going to be doing that when I'm an adult. Well, no, I'm not doing that when I'm an adult. I feel exactly the same way now, child me. I don't care about this garbage either. Archimedes is screw. He made a helix that moved water up a thing. I've not heard of this before. Archimedes is screw. Let's get out of here. 
What's this thing? The, 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 the timetables of technology. By the way, the Stone Age bit had only had three exhibits, and there's only like six rooms, so there can't be much stuff to this. Pascal's calculator, the Pascaline, the Pascaline ahead of this, a brass box with eight dials that you can rotate by hand. Each dial had seven no ten notches, because Pascal did his calculations in base ten. Yeah, like most human beings. He didn't, didn't need to explain that, really. Most people most people reading this understand that we'd count in tens. Um, decimals. Dec means ten. The decimal system that we use tens. Now, you dialed in the numbers, so it's like a phone. Is it? It's like an old-fashioned rotary phone. Is that right? I don't actually care if I'm right or not. Unless there's an animation we can use. That there's not an animation in this. You can count stuff with that if you lived 500 years ago. Right. Can we get out of here now? The timetables of technology are really getting my wick. What's over? I don't care. What's that thing? All right. Fine. Let's see what that is. This pyramid-looking object. Timetables of technology. We've got another animation. Except we don't, it just shows you the inside of the pyramid. Oh, that was. Okay, they, they just. The, the invention is pyramids. I should have figured that. Pyramids, there's a sphinx. Who invented it? The aliens invented it. No. Uh, uh, it's not known who first conceived the pyramids. It's highly unlikely that any one person or group did it. Are they going to mention aliens in this? That's an old theory that comes trotting out every now and then, that aliens built the pyramids. I don't know why they would have bothered, personally. So it seems like a lot of hassle. They invented that they created a 3D triangle. Only aliens could have done that. I mean... It doesn't seem that, like, impressive, you know? If aliens beamed down on super spaceships travelling through space, and they had t they had the technology to do stuff like that. Then why would they bother themselves making some three D triangles? Welcome to the wonderful world of electricity. I already feel like throwing up right now, just from that alone. And it's a it's a it's a wire mesh plane. That thing doesn't look like it would fly well to me. Sikorsky helicopters. A helicopter is a rotor. Helicopters. 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 Uncontrollably. Play video. Let's see the video. A helicopter's rotor blade, just like an airplane wing, is curved on top, flat on the bottom. The rotor is also tipped. Both shape and tipping cause air to pile up below the rotor. Uh, if you want to, if you want to learn about technology, then uh, then you came to the right place. Clicking on a YouTube video called "The Timetables of Technology," but unfortunately, you didn't count on me being the one that was that was uh, demonstrating it for you. So you're going to have to go somewhere else for your technology fix. Yeah, it's a wireless. A radio, fine. Radios exist. And who invented radios? This bozo the clown here. Guggly Elmo Marconi. Radios generally considered to be his. He didn't discover radio waves, but he was the first one to, uh, to find a way to do something with them. At the age of 20, he built his radio Good job. The first ever voice radio broadcast on Cave Christmas Eve on Brant Rock. He played a piano and said a Christmas greeting. I mean a violin. So why did I say piano? A violin and recited a Christmas greeting. I wonder what the Christmas greeting was. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas everyone! Ho ho! Ah! Planes. The future of the world is electric. What is this? An alien space gun? What on earth is that thing? What is this? What is that? Internal combustion engine. Fuel is combusted or burned to make... Yeah, we all know what an engine is. It, stuff blows up and uh, so therefore you, the stuff explodes internally and blows up and combusts. And so we stick that inside a big hunk of metal and then drive around with it. And we feel safe about doing this. What's this? Is that the exit? So that's a vacuum cleaner, that is. That's a Wright Brothers plane, I think. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's nice. I got a... Was that an automatic door? I assume that was that. What that was. 
What's that? Can we get through there? No. Thought maybe there was a secret section behind the gallery, but no. This is a boring old encyclopedia game. Boo! The timetables of technology. 